Salam everyone. My name is Wafa and today I'll be making a Middle Eastern dish. I say Middle Eastern because the Syrians claim it as their own, the Lebanese claim it as theirs, and I think the Egyptians even claim it as theirs. So what I've done here is I've sliced up some eggplants and I have put them, uh, I've put salt on either side, I've salted them um, just to get the bitterness out of them. And then I'll leave them for about half an hour and then I will fry them. Over here, I've got some cubed lamb fillets, bite sized and I've got them boiling in some water and I will retain that stock and use it in the dish. And on this side, I have about three cups of rice. Um, you can use less depending on the size of your pot. And um, I soak them in about in water for approximately an hour. So while I was cooking the eggplants, I made a side dish that goes perfectly with it. And this is just one clove of garlic crushed. It is half a tub of natural yogurt that I have over here. Um, some water, half a cucumber, you know, the long Greek cucumbers, half of one of those diced very finely, and some mint, mix it all together, add a little bit of um, cold water in there, and you have a beautiful accompaniment um, right there that will go beautifully with this dish. Um, in the meantime, I finished frying up all of those eggplants. You can use cauliflower if you like also, sky's the limit. Um, over here, I've taken the cubed meat out of the stock water. I have retained the stock water. I've put a tablespoon of ghee and I'm slightly just gonna fry those um, off before I put the dish together. I've added the stock water now on top, as you can see. Now, guys, I don't measure. All I say is have the stock water perhaps two centimetres above the rice. Sorry, no measurements. As my mum says, no good Arab cook ever measures. It's by eye. I'll add some salt, although the stock water has some salt in it, but it's never enough for the amount of rice that's in there. Add that. There we go. Just fix up the rice a little bit so it's all sort of even because it moves around when you put the stock. You're going to put the lid on top. You're going to put that on low uh, heat setting. When the water is all absorbed, then we'll have the final product. See you in a bit. So guys, it's all finished. As you can see, all the water has absorbed. There's nothing left in there. So where it's time to flip it. And you can see the rice looks fluffy, which means it's cooked and that's a short grain rice. This is probably the hardest bit and it's flipping it. You normally get the men to do it, but I'm gonna give it a go. That's the hardest part. to the bottom, just scrape them off, put them on top, refix your design, as we say, sartain or honey. 